<gasps> Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're taking a look at the new Diva Curl Super Stretch Curl Coconut Curl Elongator. I had no idea this was coming out. My friends at Diva Curl were very kind enough to send this product to me, and I'm just thrilled to use it. I'm excited to see what it does, the difference between a super cream. Although this product is not currently available, it will be in August. Keep an eye out for that date. You could use this video as reference, so when it does release, you could decide whether you want to purchase it or not. You could ask me questions about the product, and we'll take it from there. Bye! As you know, I love their Decadence No Poo and One Condition as well as their Wash Day Wonder. I really feel it has changed my wash game for me and my hair has been detangling easier, easier, yeah, detangling easier and overall it just has been more of a seamless experience during that step. Today, we're trying this baby out and I'm very excited simply because this is said to elongate and i'm all for that looking for a product that's going to give me elongation definition shine and a little bit of hydration who am i kidding a lot of bit of hydration and it's also a hybrid product it's a cream and gel in one which they those hybrid formula types of things get you very excited because they're offering a lot just for one product and we gotta see how it goes. And that's the agenda today, my friends. Let's slap some of this on, let it dry, and we'll see how it looks. And if you wanna see all that roll out, then please keep on watching. This product retails for $30 at eight fluid ounces, so high on the price point, as you know, with Diva Curl. It says if you have super curly hair and want stretched curls without losing definition, this multi-use styler has your name all over it. The coconut infused cream stretches any style, it elongates curls without compromising definition, while coconut oil delivers shine and moisture. The soft, velvety texture gives the moisture of a cream with the hold of a gel without the crunch. Always looking for that two-in-one punch when it comes to stylers. Excellent! How to use it? You choose. For an elongated wash and go, saturate curls by pressing super stretch into clean pressing. Interesting word choice. Super stretch into clean wet hair in a downward motion. Don't scrunch. Got it. Stretched style. Yes, we're talking twist, braids, bantu knot. Oh, we got to get back on here and try a double strand twist set. Apply on wet or damp curls in section. Style hair and unravel one dry. Uh, the first set of ingredients listed here, I'm just peeling back the label. You got water, glycerin, shea butter, castor seed oil, polyacrylate 2. Time to get nerdy. Properties of this ingredient gives hair stiff hold and high shine, superior high humidity resistance, strong resistance to flaking, no tack after drying, excellent compatibility with other polymers and thickeners, and commonly used styling additives. Easy to use for making clear gels. Who would have thought? Cedarol alcohol, glycerol stearate, PEG 100 stearate, aloe leaf juice, coconut oil, macadamia seed oil, panthenol, soybean oil, Melissa officinalis extract. Okay, so we're looking mostly nice ingredients. All right, friends, this is how the jar looks like, very much like its super cream sister. This is the texture. We'll look at it again once we start applying. The smell is exactly like super cream, which is one of my favorite scents out of all the stylers that I have in my collection. Oh, I'm excited. Here it is. Oh, that's really thick. Take it on and start. Ooh, this is exciting. Oh yeah, this is really thick. You weren't kidding. I'm taking a little more and spritzing in the no comb spray just so that I could get more zhuzh on my ends. Now I understand, judging from the texture of this product, that yes, maybe more ideal if my hair was wetter which is something i'll consider doing again on here or report back to you guys about which is what i'm gonna do hold on my hair is usually okay when i take my aquas turban off to apply styling in but i took a little time to get my camera to kind of set things up so with that my hair dried faster or i kept the towel on longer than usual so i just dumped my this piece of sectioned hair under the sink just to give me a little more of that. This is a very thick product. Whoa! I kind of like it though. 
I can't wait to see how this dries because as we discussed in a previous Diva Curl review videos, that Diva Curl may not leave the shiniest finish once uh, namely the super cream dries because I find even if I use a lot which I have been using especially since I have a lot of hair and my hair can take a lot of products so I've just been upping the dosage during my wash and goes it dries shiny but once you mess with it it kind of like buffs down if I were to use a gel for instance my hair would be a lot shinier after it dried and even thereafter if I mess with it which is what I found was lacking with the super cream. But I loved how my curls looked. They looked plump. They looked like they were defined from the inside. They had a lot of body like each individual curl did. And I'm hoping to find similar uh, benefits in this styler, the super stretch. We got to go in on these sides, you know. But ooh, what is, I got, hold on, let me look in the mirror. This stuff is not playing around. I mean, it's giving me insane amount of definition on the first what how excuse me this is looking good so far oh my god whoa whoa i'm really excited about this the way my hair is looking wet but just because these suckers take a little bit of tlc like i gotta section them i would do this go back in and just row by row tackle the side curls that go renegade on me like on the get-go but even just from my uh general rake i feel the product got in there quite well and even like let me just do some of this you know not quite jujube style but <laughs> almost all right that's one side i'm just gonna dunk this half under the sink very quickly when using my Aqua's hair turban, I have to be very uh, strategic with my time. Like when I put it on, I got to be very quick about lotioning up and then styling. Because otherwise, it does what it says it's going to do. It dries hair like 50 times faster, which I appreciate. Like yesterday, I forgot to bring it with me when I went for a swim in the pool at Equinox. I really wish I had it to just dry my hair because I had to wash it to get the chlorine out just so that it would dry faster. I had to use a regular towel, that wasn't great. I can understand why they're like, don't scrunch, but we're gonna do this. That will kind of bump them in a little bit more. As this cream, if you break through and kind of just keep it there, it will dry like that curl straight way. You know what I mean. I'm taking about this much per section. I think that's enough, not too much because my hair does love product, but I kind of want it to be balanced in terms of what's reasonable and what's nuts. And also I'm taking my time here on the sides. All right, all hair is coated. I'm just, this part gets very frizzy quickly. I'm taking a little bit more of the stretch cream and concentrating that to this portion. I'm just gonna do this, not gonna scrunch, but just gently push up just so my hair doesn't dry flat on those sections but has still a little body. Do this, gonna slap those edges down. There's a close up of the product. This is, this is not playing around. I am kind of shocked as to how defined my hair looks and even feels already before it dried. Yeah, man, this is, uh, we're gonna, let this dry of course it might take a little longer because i had to re-wet it just so the product could smooth through a little better it is tougher on damp hair but i'm looking forward to using it on damp hair when i come back on here and do a double strand a twist set because i feel that it's easier to style damp hair for that purpose it just dries faster it's easier to deal with but yeah i'm this is gonna be well, we don't know. We have to wait. All right, my friends, I'm going to finish up the face, everything else that I need to do, come back on here when it's dried, and we'll take it from there. I wanted to check in halfway through the drying period because, I mean, my hair is very compact, small, and more so than it would ever dry like if I were to use the original Super Cream. It's all good because 
I did go outside today for a moment just to grab breakfast and it is very humid now. It's like 100% humidity. My hair did not budge. This portion near the crown root area is still very wet and what I will do now is dry with my diffuser, try to get those portions dry and fluff it out because this is typically how I would not like to wear my hair. I don't like it shrunken and tight. I like it big and fluffy, but I typically like to wait until my hair is completely dry because if I try to fluff it out now when it's still kind of wet, it will look crazy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my diffuser, dry my hair, and then still wait a little bit and fluff it out for the final reveal. Be right back. Oh you guys first of all if you like this eye look i did do a review on the alamar cosmetics la reina del caribe eyeshadow palette i'm not sure that'll be up before this or after this but it's coming i was not ready for these results let me start from the beginning as i mentioned in my diva curl product reviews the one thing i felt was missing for me in the super cream She's right here. I'll talk about you, so I'll just keep you next to me. Was the lack of shine after the product dried. I have been experimenting with applying more super cream and it did dry shiny, excuse me. But the minute I started fluffing out and just shaping my hair, the shine would kind of buff down to like a very, not super dull, but just like, it wasn't as shiny as I would have hoped. But here comes her sister, not ready for these results. Significantly more shiny with a lot more definition than Super Cream. I'm just gonna say this right now. To which is own. I have a very particular hair texture and she prefers just a, a styler with a little more definition and hold that does create a cast around my hair without it looking flaky or just leaving it feeling dry or heavy. Now I will say this, based on my experience and the results, this reminds me of you know what. And the minute this hair dried and I was like, oh my God. When I first used Meringue, I love the spring and the bounce that it gave my hair, but I was not crazy about the smell. And I was not crazy about the fact that when it was recommended that you apply a lot so your hair will be elongated and stretched out that it did leave my hair flaky and just that product residue look after it dried this does not do that first of all i love the scent it smells like super cream it's like that new age coconut that doesn't smell like banana boat but it does smell like coconut but it's refreshing and just gorgeous although it smells beautiful it does not feel heavy I don't feel trapped in the fragrance sure I could smell it if I pull my hair close to my nose but I don't feel like I'm gonna faint from it get dizzy die any of those things now one observation I made is that if I do use my aquas hair turban then I have to make sure that I don't leave it on for long because this is significantly more thicker than the super cream and I feel this needs a little more water to work with in the hair just so it could smooth through better. I realized that I did not apply this on top of my leave-in decadence because I wanted to see how this performed on its own. It is a star all in it by itself. It has to stretch, it has the elongation, it has the definition, the hold, the shine, and most importantly the moisture. I am just shocked with how defined my hair is, how shiny it has been despite my fluffing and just messing with my hair. It does not look dull. I love the shape, I love the texture, and you'll see that there's more, depending on where you are on my hair, you could see more of a significant cast left like this section for instance i made sure that i put a lot of product here because my sides get crazy but look how beautiful my side curls look i mean they're spirally they're defined let's look the look over here i love how it feels because although it feels like it has a cast it's a soft cast that still maintains its hold and defining properties i am blown away right now i love this super stretch cream i know it's the first day that i used it 
okay? And it is very humid outside. I think a perfect opportunity to see how this withstands against 110% humidity. More like a thousand percent, but who's really checking? Um, my hair is checking. Thank you very much. In terms of just how it feels, despite the thickness and heaviness of the cream, because again, it has a lot more body than its original super cream, formula. I just really love how my hair feels and the fact that although I still feel the cast on my hair, my hands don't feel like they have a lot of product on them. No matter how much I mess with my hair, it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. My hair doesn't feel heavy. It has spring, it has bounce, it has a gorgeous shape. Just based on what I'm experiencing now and comparing these results to results that I've had from different products, different formulas, from different brands. I love it. It really is the best of both worlds. Sometimes when you encounter like these hybrid uh, cream gel formulas that want to give you the definition but still not enough moisture. Give you loads of moisture but where's the definition? I'm fluffy. What happened to it? It's all there with this product. The stretch is there. The definition is there. Look at this shine. The shine is probably the one thing that I'm most excited about because I do feel it was lacking with the original super cream as much as I love this product and what it did to my hair texture and how how soft it left my hair. I really wanted that shine to be like on point. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna also apply this on top of the decadence leave-in because I feel that combo is gonna be fire. I'm very excited about the super stretch cream. We also have to come back on here and do a double strand twist demo using the super stretch cream. So we still got a lot to talk about. We got a lot more to observe and to explain. Experience. And also I feel although it is $30, the super cream that comes in at 5.1 fluid ounces is $28. This is $2 more for like three more ounces of product. If you're in the 3C 4A spectrum of curl texture and pattern, I will look into getting the super stretch cream because it's still expensive. But if you are thinking that the super cream is expensive too, or you're not getting enough product, I think you could get away with using a lot more, even though the price point is still high, you'll still get more product. I don't know what to say. I am just, listen, this is, I, I know, I know. What about second and third day hair, Alicia? What about that? You know I'm not good at that, friends. It's hot. I'm in the fitness industry but mama needs to teach and has to put in her mic set. Having my hair down is not optimal for those circumstances. That's why I put it up in my pony poo. I understand that it's hard for us to determine how the product fares on day two and three if I put my hair up on the wash and go day. I get it. That's just how I live my life. I, I can't help it. What I will do though, although I will put my hair up because right now I am dying and I didn't even leave my house yet and I have to teach later so she's definitely going up. I can still observe how my hair feels and looks in a high pony poof in this weather. I will get back to you on that. I'm gonna take down my observations. I'm gonna see how it does and who knows if I put my hair up or not what it does on the second day. I could at least report how my hair feels in a pony poof. Maybe we'll do a second day refresher. Listen, there are lots of things we can still experiment with and I will be on here to report back. As I said, I really love what the Super Stretch Cream is doing. I think this is a bomb product that Diva Curl recently released. Let me know down below if you're looking to try it. Any questions that you might come up in terms of the application, the drying, anything that you might have thought of or are thinking of, please let me know down below. <sighs> My favorite product of all time, I think is too soon to say. I need to use it more often. I need to gather my thoughts and my feelings. Right now though, I'm feeling really good about the Super Stretch Cream from Diva Curl. <laughs> and until then, that my friends, is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. A huge thank you again to Diva Curl for sending me their Super Stretch Cream. I deeply appreciate the generosity. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another demo, review, chit chat, or get ready with me. Take care and I'll see you again soon.